Hey guys, welcome back for yet another Transformers review and this time it is actually a real Transformer and uh, he is probably not that well known and uh, he's com he comes from uh, one of those lines that never really seem to get a, a firm ground or foothold into the market yeah I'm talking about the pretenders um, I don't know how they sold or did sell in America, but in Europe they didn't really have a, a great success with these kind of uh, type of transformers. But uh, I do like them. I do like them a lot. And this particular uh, Pretender I'm going to show you today is uh, quite rare, uh, actually. Uh, well, at least you don't see him that often. But here he is. This is Autobot Pretender Double Dealer, and I think he's from 88, 89 perhaps, I'm not quite sure. Let's see if there's a stamp somewhere on him. Mm. Hasbro 88. Uh, I don't think it, you can see that on camera. Ah. Well, it says 88. And uh, this is Double Header. Uh, he's quite a funky looking guy um, he got some very interesting colors the light blue and uh, some dark blue and some green and this kind of uh, grayish color sea gray I suppose you would call it and then um, a pale beige for his face and you can remove the helmet and there you have the two faces Mm -hmm. um, he actually reminds me of Keanu Reeves <laughs> I'm not sure um, anyhow it's quite an interesting figure at least in this mode and um, he has this detachable backpack which doesn't really do any good in, in this pretender mode see his back. He has some nice detailing to him. Um, just turn him around for you. <gasps> yep. And uh, his gun, which is this kind of a piece. And I can just show you the backpack or kind of wings. Yeah. And uh, of course, he isn't a pretender for nothing. So, what you're gonna do is just take him apart. Probably just extend his arms and then just pull. And he opens to reveal a robot. And this is how the robot looks inside the shell, the pretender shell. Halfway transformed. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I might as well show you his robot mode, uh, which is pretty simple. Uh, you just extend the legs and he looks like this. Mm -hmm. He's a nice little robot. He's uh, one of the small uh, pretender class figures and uh, he's pretty cool. Um, I should probably tell you that uh, the figure does come with two guns, but I only have the big gun, I don't have uh, the small, which I think is supposed to attach to this hole inside his fists. Well, articulation for this robot is up and down with the arms, and you could argue that the shoulders can go in and out, but that's a part of his transformation, and the legs do bend. 
but then again also a part of the transformation so but it was still overall he's a nifty little figure to transform him into his alternate mode you just simply just does uh, you simply just do this flip the legs around push down the head and flip up or swing up the shoulders like that yeah he's missing something right yeah there that is where this part comes into play it's actually his wings and it attaches on top of him so he'll look like this now I'm not sure whether the now landing gear is supposed to stay out in front or be pulled back like this but hmm, I don't really care so this is his jet mode with uh, two laser cannons one here one here and I suppose these are kind of laser cannons or missile launchers or something like that and these are air intakes yeah he's quite cute but uh, that's basically it basically it um, not much you can say about his mold uh, other than he's a pretender and uh, they aren't any kind of super high detailed uh, extremely difficult to transform transformers they are very simple I'll just snap his shell right into place again and give him his helmet and gun so there you have double header pretender and inner robot there's nothing really much more to say about these guys uh, only if uh, you do collect pretenders and you kind of enjoy the simplicity of the figures and still I think it's a cool concept with the uh, robots hiding inside a, a kind of biodynamic shell or whatever you want to call it then uh, I definitely say go ahead and pick him up um, I got this for about uh, 20 euro uh, which probably is about 25 US dollars or something like that and um, for that price I say go ahead but I should mention that the double header on eBay goes extremely high uh, I've seen him in the price range of uh, $70 just like this not even complete so um, don't pay, don't pay over price I wouldn't recommend that but uh, that's double header both of him and uh, I hope you enjoyed the review and until next time see ya and take care